Hi, Casper. Uh, a few days on from that first leg, what lessons have you put into practice in training from analysing that game to ensure that you can get the win tomorrow? Score. <laughs> we just got we got a score. Um, simple as I think we we I think we played well. Um, we probably got to start a little bit quicker than we did, but I think once we got into our stride, we played really well, um, and it, it was a very very good performance. And, and all that was missing was uh, was that we scored a couple of goals. They're a team that have got lots of experience in Europe. How do you combat a squad with that experience, but also a set of fans that expect them to go far in Europe as well? How will you combat that? Well, we expect from ourselves, and like I just said before, we we had a a similar situation in in Ren where uh, you know there was a there was a lot of noise uh, and and a very expectant crowd, and uh, I expect tomorrow will be no different. But for us, we we approach it, the game like we approach any other game. So the expectations uh, that we set ourselves, you know, couldn't really be higher. And final one, as captain of the squad, how happy does it make you to see some of the youngsters coming through, like Kiernan Dewsbury Hall has done, assisting a goal for him? How happy does that make you? Yeah, it's great to see. You know, Kiernan's done incredibly well this season. Um, I think it's incredibly important that, that, that he's given time uh, and, and he's given the space to, to play and mature. And uh, yeah, we, we've got a player on our hands if... Uh, if you know if he's if he's able to to be kept out of all the limelight of you guys, then uh, then uh, then he's got a big future. Big game, business end of the season. How much do you relish these sort of occasions? Yeah, the, these are the type of games you want to play in, um, where everything's on the line, and uh, you can you can end up with with big prizes. And uh, I think that's what we all play football for. We play football for the big occasions, and uh, tomorrow's a massive occasion for us. Yeah. Every time I hear about players, once they've retired, they always say that the moments that they really look back on and miss the most are being around their teammates, the, the changing room atmosphere, that sort of stuff. Can you just describe kind of what that's like for, for people that have never been involved in that sort of situation, the, the kind of togetherness, jumping on the plane, all that sort of stuff? <laughs> yeah, you, you are... Uh, you, you, well, yeah, I take this this week on its own. We are with each other more than we are with our families. Um, you know, leaving home... Today uh, we played at the weekend, and then we don't re return home till late Friday, and then we're in the hotel again Saturday, play Sunday again. So this is uh, this is the life of, of of football at the highest level. Um, you know, people see us on a Saturday or a Sunday whenever we play, but there's a hell of a lot of preparation that goes into it every single day. Um, you know, it's not the uh, it's not the glitz and glamour it's made out to be. That's for sure. It, it it's hard work, and uh, I know people will will probably won't understand that if you haven't been in the football environment but you, if you don't have a squad that works well together then then it's then it's a tough life because you you are together all the time but we're lucky that that we have a great squad uh lots of great characters that that are enjoyable to be around cuz um and thank god cuz otherwise it would be uh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be very nice playing football um you've played in lots of these big knockout ties now with Leicester and with Denmark. Is there anything that you would say to your younger teammates ahead of a game like this? I think the, the important thing in 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 any game, um, but particularly these games, is play. Don't play the occasion. Play the game. Whatever game you're playing, it's eleven v eleven to start off with, and uh, and take it from there. Don't you know? I personally don't uh, don't really notice uh, the crowd and the external factors when I'm in the game it, it's only really during the warm up and stuff you, you feel that but just concentrate play your game as as, uh, as we've done or you know, you've done all your life uh, and, and then the game will take care of itself and the occasion then uh, comes secondary Recently got Wesley Fofana and Johnny Evans back from injury what's it like as a goalkeeper playing behind them? Yeah I mean I think we are incredibly blessed at this club to have five very very good centre backs um and the competition for places is is huge so uh so it's great to have you know everybody back fit for once it's very rare that we have every everybody fit in 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 the in central defence so uh, it gives us lots of options but yeah they are they are both top class defenders